Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today I want to take some time to talk to you about advanced piston design, or mainly connecting multiple pistons to one object, so you create a very stable platform to lift, to push, or to move around. So you can see here I've got my alien ship out, and something I haven't shown you on it is one of the advanced settings. So if we hop into the cockpit, and we press number one, we can actually extend out the piston arms. So you can see that's a very stable sort of pushing platform. So I can get a little bit of extra reach with the arms and we can retract them back in now. And we've got that very steady sort of in and out motion where you simply wouldn't get that with one piston. This arm would be waving all over the place and the piston might even snap off. So let's go and have a little bit of a talk about that a little bit more. So we've got a standard sort of elevator here with one piston. That is, that's the standard design because it's very hard to connect up or the blocks to connect up or the pistons. They simply won't fit in and connect. It seems to be one piston at a time connecting between two surfaces. So if we lower that back down and then we go into our inventory and we find ourselves a piston, like so. And even if we try something like this, we stick them underneath there before it comes down. It just, it wants to have none of it. It won't, it's not going to automatically connect to it. It's just going to simply go up without them. There's no connection involved. So let's talk about actually connecting them up. Now what I've done here is I've used the combination of the pistons and I've put one in each corner so we've got a very stable sort of elevation platform. And as you can see we've got the ship on top and if we turn ourselves around you can even have this as a ramp that actually lowers down from your ship in the sort of very classical sort of movie spaceship term. Now let's set this thing off. Now the first thing you're going to notice is it's a very stable platform. And unlike that regular design that's going to get caught on bumps and all sorts of cracks in your wall and might even wiggle around off that singular piston and then cause interior damage to your ship, this will keep it absolutely straight and you're not going to get any damage at all within your ship and that's exactly what you're looking for in this sort of design. And you've got the exact same height and all the benefits that one piston would give you but you've got in that much stronger, much more solid four piston design. So let's actually have a talk about building that. So here we have our base, and up there I've just got a pre-constructed part that we'll talk about a little bit later on. So first off, we're going to lay a piston in each corner, like so. So that's going to be our foundation for actually building this. We're also going to extend out a little platform here, and we're going to place on a button block. So button block is down there when we're ready, and finally a reactor, so we have something to power all these. Now to connect that up on the flat level, we're going to put one block in each corner. Now you can do this with the armoured blocks or the sort of super strength blast door blocks if you wish. But I'm just going to use these for the demonstration at the moment. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag our blocks between it. And you'll notice how they won't actually connect up. So we need to actually form these all into one existing piston. So let's cut that back out and cut that away. And we're going to use a very sort of simple method, merge blocks. So we're going to whack a merge block there. And the whole idea is we're putting these one above this so we actually have something for it to bite its teeth into and then we're going to simply grab this this is exactly the same just underneath and we've got these all connected up four merge blocks connected up by the corners and these will form all four pistons into one singular block so we're going to bring that over if you're in creative or if you're in survival you could use a ship to actually bring these over i've done this in survival before and then the main idea is to get this just over the top and then you want to do a little bit of pressure down lower it into position. It's a lot easier with a ship actually to be honest. And you just push it down ever so slightly so I'm just going to line it up and then I'm just going to drop this down with a little bit of a C and you'll see how it starts to move into position. Now we're looking for one main thing, we're looking for all these lights to go green. So if anything doesn't go green then we're going to have to redo the process. So in this case it looks like everything's gone green and that's good. Now we can actually get rid of all this extra rubbish that we don't want. If we left this in, we'd be losing possible piston sort of extension range. So let's add these blocks under here. Connect all these parts up now. And we can actually build a flat surface under here. And it's as simple as removing these merge blocks and deleting that top part. Or you could mine or weld it or grind it all away. And you've got a flat piston base like so. Now let's hook up the rotors to finally finish it. So I'm just going to grab these and type in a little bit of a name and then we will go to our button, press K and we'll go to our groups, drag that down to the bottom, hit reverse and we should have a four way working piston so you've got a much more stable platform. I really thought I'd just show you this today because I thought it's quite an important little feature and it's really going to give you the ability to make much more stable platforms than the wonky lifts that I often see in some ships and for health and safety purposes. You've got a lift now that is a lot more stable 
and you're going to be able to enjoy. As well as you can try a lot of different other things for this, you can do the same system with two pistons on a blast door, so the blast door is going to remain a lot stronger, and if one of them pistons is damaged, the other one will hold it within place. Anyway, just a quick video today, I wanted just to show you this and remind you how to do it, and I'll see you next time.